All right, guys. So today we're going to check out the True Free 01 wireless earbuds. Now, this isn't your typical pair of True Wireless earbuds. It's kind of a blend between a lot of the air conduction headphones that we've tested lately, which usually go behind your neck and kind of sit right in front of your ear, and also kind of being like a pair of True Wireless earbuds because it doesn't have that neck band. It relies on ear hooks kind of keeping these on your ears. Uh, and again, it has that design where it sits in front of your ear canal and just has a speaker like directing audio into your ear without actually blocking your ear canal. So we're gonna talk about how that affects the audio. We're gonna talk about what all comes inside the box. And let's go ahead and start with the price. These come in at $59, although right now on Amazon, there's the little coupon box you can check off, which brings them down to 42. And that's actually a hell of a bargain if you compare it to some of the other ones that are in the market that share this similar style. But I guess that's kind of to be expected because the company True Free is like a sub brand of sound Peats. it kind of acts as like their active brand it, it has a lot more open style earbuds and headphones uh, which allow you to be more aware of your surroundings most people would use these like in office environments or they can use them while running or cycling uh, while they can listen to music they still can just be very aware of what's going on around them now this pair in particular, we're going to go ahead and talk about the case and the earbuds. Uh, the case is rather large, but again, that's kind of to be expected because the earbuds themselves use a hook. It's a little larger than just a normal pair of earbuds, uh, and it's not very flexible. It's not like silicone based. It kind of feels like plastic, but once you have these on, they're extremely comfortable. I was able to wear these all day without any issues. I didn't have any kind of irritation around my ears, and I also tested this with glasses, and it didn't have any discomfort with glasses either. So, you know, if you are somebody that wears glasses, that is definitely something that's nice to know. Now, this pair does use touch controls, and I am happy to say that they give you control over everything. You have your play, your pause, your ability to skip your tracks forward, go backwards, you have volume control, and this pair also has a gaming or low latency mode that you can switch these into, and you do that simply by tapping the earbuds as well. And all of it works flawlessly. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out though is the touch controls do take a little bit to get used to because the actual bud, the speaker itself that you're having to touch is just angled a little bit different than earbuds. So I found myself kind of reaching in my ear canal where earbuds would be and it's more so in front and a little angled and it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Now some other features on these is they do have 16.2 millimeter dynamic drivers uh, and most open style earbuds have to kind of have a larger driver than most uh, because again it is competing with your surroundings. It's not relying on the fact that it has ear tips to block your ear canals uh, and block out a lot of your surroundings. Now it does have Bluetooth 5.3 and it also has multi-point so you can connect to more than one device at a time and this definitely comes in handy with a style like this because you can be connected to you know your tablet watching a movie or watching videos or something like that and if somebody calls in on your phone uh, it'll just switch over to that very easily without having to go into settings and disconnect and reconnect uh, so I found it to be very convenient and I like that it had this feature and again it has that gaming mode so that if you are watching a movie or video uh, it will cut down on any kind of lag or latency and it also does that because it has that Bluetooth 5.3 but keep in mind if you have it in gaming mode uh, you're not going to be able to get as far away from your device uh, and it is also going to affect the battery life. And speaking of the battery life, battery life is impressive on this pair. On the earbuds themselves, on a full charge, you can get about 10 hours. And with the charging case, you're going to get about 45 hours total. And that 10 hours on the earbuds means pretty much that you can use them all day at work and you're not going to have to worry about putting them back in the case to charge them. Now on the downside though, I didn't see anything where there's like fast charging where you can pop them back in the case for like 10 minutes to get two hours or three hours of use. Uh, so in case I'm missing something, that just is not available on this pair, which is a little disappointing. Now if you are gonna use these outdoors, they come in with an IPX4 rating. I kind of expected these to have a higher IP rating, mainly because people that are going to use them for running or cycling are going to be using them outdoors. And IPX4 really is only protective against like rain and sweat and splashes. Uh, but if you're anywhere near water, you definitely want to make sure you don't drop them or submerge them into water. 
Now, as far as what all comes inside the box, this is pretty simple because this isn't a pair that uses silicone ear tips or foam ear tips, so there's nothing like that. The only thing in the box other than manuals is the USB-C cable. Now, you are going to have to use this cable. Uh, the case is not a Qi wireless charging case, uh, which is, again, kind of to be expected because a lot of these open style earbuds, I haven't really seen the case have wireless charging capabilities. Now, if you're gonna use these for taking phone calls, they do have four microphones total. Uh, it's also using environmental noise canceling to try to block out a lot of your surroundings. And for the most part, I think they do a very good job here. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here's the mic test using the True Free 01. And like I said, I think it's doing a pretty decent job of picking up my voice. So this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here's the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. Now, because this pair has the 16.2 millimeter dynamic drivers, I was expecting at least some amount of bass. And this pair is a bass light pair. In fact, in most cases, bass seemed like non-existent. And I do know that it's capable with this style of earbud because I've seen it in some of the pairs that I've checked out lately, but I didn't notice any kind of punch and I've adjusted these uh, by trying to turn them and see if that kind of affected anything and it doesn't. So if you're a bass head or if you're looking for any kind of bass impact, I didn't really experience that with this pair. But where this pair really shines is the mids and the treble because vocalists, whether it be male or female vocalists, if I'm watching movies or TV shows, anybody talking always stood out. It definitely felt like the mids were up front. Uh, the treble had a nice bright sound to it. Now this isn't like a harsh sounding treble. There's no sibilance in the S's or anything like that. It's just clean. It comes through nice and bright. It's nice and clean and it definitely is not even competing with low end. So if you're listening to movies and TV shows or if you listen to easy listening or country or anything where vocals are made to be a little bit more prominent, I think that's where these shine. But I think if you listen to things like pop and hip hop or if you listen to metal where you want to feel drums, you are definitely gonna feel like these are lacking. I mean, the sound stage and the sound imaging is excellent. Uh, being able to hear you know, things with your surroundings make them sound very open. Uh, and I think it does a very good job of being able to tell where different sounds are coming from. So really my overall opinion is it really just comes down to what you're gonna use them for. I, I definitely don't think that these are made to replace your normal headphones or earbuds. I've said this in previous videos, I feel like this style of bud is just kind of like allowing you to listen to things where you can't use normal earbuds earbuds and headphones. And for that case, these are very convenient. The battery life basically allows you to use them all day without having to worry about charging them. So if you're listening to podcasts or watching TV shows and you don't need it to affect, you know, your day-to-day -day life, that is what these are perfect for. But if you're using these for like critical listening or you just want that like subwoofer type bass, I don't know why you would use these for that type of thing. That's definitely not what these are for. So, you know, it kind of depends again on what you're wanting to use them for, but the sound when it comes to details and when it comes to vocalists is pretty incredible in this style of earbud. And for this style in general, one that basically acts like a pair of true wireless earbuds, but also an air conduction neckband style headphone, uh, the price comes in at like a very sweet spot. I mean, the ones from Shocks I think is like over $100. Most of these usually kind of float around that $100 price range. So the fact that these can be picked up right now for like $42 at least makes these where they're worth giving a look. I, I think it's a very good value for what you're getting, again, depending on what you're going to use them for. But guys, that's my video on the True Free 01, not 01, uh, wireless earbuds. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.